the ability to convey and comprehend or summon the things of the spirit to take on tangible manifestation on earth is called glory you must understand that the glory of the lord is the ability to convey god's ability into tangibility to produce a visible miracle and once that has not happened the glory of god is still hidden still hidden still hidden so through the force of faith we can convey the manifestation of god's glory through the force of hope we can convey the manifestation of glory and of course through the force of the fruit of righteousness by the time the gift of righteousness in our spirits begin to produce the character the essence the virtues of god to the to the visible dimensions wow that becomes the glory of god that's the glory of God. So, the, the, you see, through the gift of righteousness, we can communicate the fruits of the Spirit. So that the fruit, of, the fruit of the Spirit would remain invisible without the fruit of righteousness. So God has deposited in our spirits the gift of righteousness for one purpose not just to brag about it but sometimes we become braggadocious about ah, hallelujah i've got the gift of righteousness as i'm saved i'm going to heaven no that's not the essence of the gift of righteousness the essence of the gift of righteousness is to ultimately bring you to that point where you can produce the fruit of the spirit as listed or as written in the book of galatians Imagine that within the potentials that are locked up in the gift of righteousness is what we call self-control. The, the moment the fruit of self-control is produced from the gift of righteousness or from the seed of righteousness, guess what? That's the end of adultery. That's the end of fornication. You know what? Because, listen, the gift of righteousness cannot end your immoral tendencies it is the fruit from the gift that will end your sexual stupidity sexual foolishness that will destroy your entire god-given calling in life we have men of god today messed up great preachers across the world destroyed the name of the Lord has been brought to shame all across the nations because of lack of sexual control, lack of sexual discipline. Sons of God, it is time for us to begin to nurture, water, and develop the fruit, I mean the gift of righteousness unto the fruits of righteousness. Shout a name to that. Yeah. And guess what? Every fruit of righteousness is actually God's character. It's God's character. Come on. Oh, come on. It's God's character. You see, God's nature can become visible through the transportation of the developed gift of righteousness. So there's a lock locked up in the gift of righteousness. That's a, oh my goodness, man. Do you know that the gift of righteousness is actually what contains all of God's excellence? And that becomes the glory of God, the visible glory of God via the gift of righteousness. When the gift of righteousness dominates a man, hallelujah, that man becomes a channel of expression of God's exact excellence. God comes upon that man. God comes into that man to manifest his character, to manifest his attributes, to manifest his love, to manifest his, all of his excellence. But somebody ought to understand that a fierce work is needed to get to that point. A fierce development is needed to get to that point. And I, listen to this. I tell you when God you know, created the human spirit 
and brought certain aspects of his excellence and put them into the man and, and that emerged as the new man hallelujah that man that is made in the image of God that man that is made in the righteousness of God that man that carries the love of God that man that carries the hope of eternity so God took the hope from him he took that righteousness from him the ability of, of, of absolute impeccable life it's called righteousness he, he, he took the righteousness from himself his nature he took the love from himself God is love and it says that he has shed abroad in our hearts love so he, he took his nature to create your new spirit and that's why listen if you focus if you focus in your spirit if you focus on your spirit you can never go wrong this you can never go wrong but the problem is that sometimes we want to compare the vibrations of the spirit to the, the voice of the spirit with the voice of our mind. We, 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 we often have this conflict with the, oh, the flesh says this, oh, it feels well in the flesh, it feels oh, logically, that, oh, that feels, you know, we try to listen to the voice of our reason, we try to listen to the voice of our hearts, we try to listen to the voice of our emotions, the voice of our past, the voice of our mistakes, the voice of, oh, hey, 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 get the key, shut the doors, close those mouths, silence those devils. Are you hearing me in the name of Jesus the Christ? Whenever you hear the voice of Peter, say to him, you devil, get deep behind me. When Satan speaks through anything, through your mind, through your voice, through your imagination that is not in agreement with scriptures, quickly rebuke that voice and tell that devil, get thee behind. Come on, get thee. Get thee behind me. To get this message from the bondservant of Christ, John Anosika, kindly visit our website, www.pastorjohndigitalmedia.com.